Okay. Super. Thank you. So let me introduce you to Istri Patini. Um, she is a mis she is a midwife and a master um, of public health, and um, she's working as a lecturer and a director of the Dr. Carter Midwifery Academy. Also, she's working as a midwife in a private um, practice, and she's a member of the Indonesian Midwives Association. And she has prepared this um, presentation to, uh, to with, together with Noor Alalaya, um, who um, uh, sent her apologies. She cannot come. So, um, Istri, over to you. We are looking forward to listen to your presentation. Feel free to start, Estri. Okay, hello. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for introducing me. Um, hello, everybody. Let me introduce myself. My name is Estri Bartini from Indonesian Association of Midwives in Central Branch, Yogyakarta, Province, Indonesia. And today is a special moment, and we would like to say Happy International Day of Midwives 2017. Congratulations for all midwives around the world. Be proud to be a midwife, and I'm very happy to connect you in this forum today. And the theme of Esri, can you speak up a bit? Esri, can you speak yes. up a bit? Some people cannot hear you. Okay, is it okay? It is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Much better, I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. And hello everybody, let me introduce myself. My name is Istri Bartini from uh, Indonesian Association of Midwives in Bantul Branch, Yogyakarta, province in Indonesia. And today is a special moment and we would like to say Happy International Day of Midwife 2017. Congratulations for all midwives all the world and we, uh, we proud to be midwives. And I am very happy to connect you in this forum today. And the theme of the IDM this year is relevant to our work is about the partnership. ICM said that midwives, mothers, and families is a partner for life, definitely. And I will describe our way. Uh, I will describe other way to do a partnership as well as our philosophy in midwifery care. Um, well, I will share our experience in managing a program and working a partnership as a role of midwives organization to promote exclusive breastfeeding. And uh, now I talk to you, a representative from EB, or uh, Indonesian Association of Midwives, Bantul, uh, Bantul District, uh, Province, Yogyakarta. Okay. Well, uh, I think Michelle has introduced us at the beginning of the session, so I will continue to show you our position now. Here we are. I'm sure most of you have now in Indonesia, and uh, we stay at Yogyakarta province, a small province in central Java. And in Indonesia, we have uh, only one midwives organization or association named EB, or in Indonesia as Ikatan Bidan Indonesia. However, in each province, there are local committees and also a branch in every regency. And Bantul is one of a branch of EB in Jakarta. And here at Bantul, there are 503 registered midwives and 147 of them have been providing a private practice at their home. And midwives Istri, can you speak up a bit? Istri, Istri, sorry, can you speak louder a bit? Can you just turn up yeah. your volume and speak louder? Some people cannot hear you. Okay. okay, just a bit closer to the microphone. I think then it's fine. Yes. Hello? Is it okay? Yeah, I will continue. Okay. 
Uh, Midwives Association in Bantul or EB Bantul is a strong organization. Uh, we have a commitment to do the best together and we have a regular meeting to discuss many agendas including to fast respond in breastfeeding problems. And let's have a look to the background. In 2014, WHO states about 10 facts on midwifery and emphasized that midwife provide an essential care for mother and child. And after childbirth, midwives support mother to breastfeed. But in effect, in Indonesia, proportion of mother who breastfeed exclusively only 62.3%, even though midwives have been struggling to promote breastfeeding exclusively, but it is not easy to gain 100% breastfeed exclusively. And working outside is one of the problem for mother to breastfeed exclusively. At Bantul, many women or mother walk outside and left their baby at home. Therefore, Indonesian Midwife Association in Bantul creates a program and make a networking through being with women at workplace. Well, at the moment, we, we were thinking about the possibility to involve other institutions or organizations into this party. First, we consent to a place where women working in and we found the ITP, PT ITP or International Garment Production. It is a big company in the city of Bantul. ITP company employed one 1,742 persons and mostly are women or around 65% including pregnant and breastfeeding women. And actually, they have a, a health corner where to nurses at least for emergency case but they do not concern to breastfeeding. Ibi Bantol has designed an activity to provide midwifery care for women employees. There are six midwives give a counseling every month. Our target is that proportion of women employees who do breastfeeding exclusively increased to 80 percent in particularly this program and to improve women employees knowledge and skill on managing breastfeeding as exclusively and also uh, to improve proportion of women workers in using breastfeeding Um, Istri, we cannot hear you anymore. You are fading. It's really, really quiet and people cannot hear you. You have to really focus on speaking into the microphone and very close. Can we make a try? Can you just say something, please? Hello. It is okay. Yeah, Hello. that's a bit better. Yeah, and, <laughs> and really stay there. Don't move away because it's very good at the beginning and then it's kind of fading and people say they cannot hear you. So make the best of it and just go close to the microphone and speak really loud. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay? okay? Yeah. I will keep the microphone. <laughs> okay. Very close and very loud speaking. Thank you. Yes, um, forget for uh, the trouble. And I will continue um, about, well, Yes, we know that midwives do not work exclusive or even isolated. So we engage a mutual relationship with uh, many, for example, as general manager of ITB factory, department, labor department, 
uh, and all a member of EB, Indonesian Association of Midwife, particularly in uh, Bantu uh, Brand. And also we involve Midwifery Academy and of course the employee or uh, woman employee in the factory. And in this party, we bring a key message that all we can do is to strengthen midwife and midwife organization in public policy. The framework is uh, this program is an initiation to introduce a company awareness in breastfeeding, including plan planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation. And second is that uh, this work is assisting for provider and equipment which has been needed for a woman employee. And the third is strengthening for midwifery in public policy in maternal and child health in concern to policy side, the side, and women's side. And the fourth is advocacy and negotiation in this partnership. Well, uh, according to legal aspect, our work based based on some law and political policy. In my slides, uh, you can see that since 2009 until now, our government support breastfeeding by a certain law and policy. But as uh, I say, uh, later that breastfeeding as Exclusively, it's not success, and we think about uh, some activities. Or then I, I, what I can explain. Okay. I will continue to describe our amazing work and uh, whom we work successfully with. Uh, well, in our, our partner partnership, there are three main actors, are EB, Labor Department, and the company. And I will explain what they have done one by one. First, I will show you uh, what EB has done. EB or uh, uh, we start with doing doing advocacy and introducing the program. We are approaching too many people and organizations to get an interest and understanding about breastfeeding problem problem. Those um they can willing to join us in the program. And then we are giving some equipment to be placed in lactation room, such as the table, chair, fridge, and fan. And in addition, we are also collaborating with health department in training for breastfeeding counselor. We send a midwifery to some workshop or uh, training about the breastfeeding. And in the factory, we are leading and assisting the woman employee and help team. And also, we have provided some knowledge resources such as a guidebook and procedure, brochure, and other counseling kit. Hello? Well, um, yeah, we can hear you, Itri. You can continue. But um, yes. um, what we can also try is you can click on your mic on your microphone symbol and see if your vo volume is really, really up. Can you check that just for a second? Yeah. Can you click on the mic and see if, and see if the volume is up? Yes. To adjust microphone volume, can you go to to that and 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 put it up? Do you see it? Um, there's the microphone symbol, and you, there's a um, there's a little arrow to the right. 
You click on it, and then there's adjust microphone volume. Yes. Can you can you click on that? Yes. I have it done to adjust the microphone volume. Well, can I continue? Okay, I will continue. I hope you are hear my voice. Um, this picture and this slide explain what we will do. The most important we hope is uh, awareness. It is the really reality that again gender equality still a problem in our country. Not too bad, but it's some condition. It's some con in some in some condition it has been implied in the policy. For example, about breastfeeding, uh, some people think that it's just women's problem, problem, not impact on their business. They never aware in this problem, even they think formula meal is the answer. Therefore, we never give up to explain about it. And we try to meet with K person in Yogyakarta, also the general manager in IGP company, and the labor department which is responsible with employee. We do a door to door process. We try to convince uh, that breastfeeding program is would give a positive impact for family, community, company, and country. We explain with simple words, nice voice, and a polite attitude. Um, in Bantul, Yogyakarta, Indonesia, majority midwives work takes place in a community. So we need sophisticated understanding of the importance of networking and establishing partnership with other agents with other agency in our local community. And we found is a success that labor department accepted our idea and they encouraged us by some action. For instance, they gave many books and funding for our program. They also have a training to the company company staff about excellent service and good standard for company. They also give a technical assistance and regular monitoring to the local government on implementation of breastfeeding at workplace. They also report and recommend the program. And what about the company? Wow, it's amazing that they concern with this program. They build a lactation room. They point out a person who will take for the program. So they point out a nurse who had a class to ensure to ensure every woman in the factory know about lactation room. They also decide the lactation room to be privacy and comfortable. Allow and give time to mother to pump breast milk about one hour. They also ensure the secure and safety in the lactation room. And also they give space to set poster and flyer. Um, sure, we get a positive response that could be determined that networking, willingness and social responsibility are the key to do a partnership for midwife and being with women at workplace demonstrate and accessibility and mutual benefit both for women and midwives. This listen learn inspired us to expand the program. And this is the situation in the factory. Uh, women and their job. This factory produce and export and export the baby dress. If you have a little daughter who has a baby doll, perhaps the baby dress is made by this woman. And 
here is our partnership button. Look like a beautiful triangle. We complemented each other and the main focus is employee, that means the woman. Our relationship like a puzzle and we must know and understand our position. We have some power to help woman in her baby health. Here also some documentation in this program, including how we share in local newspaper to inspire others. And this is a changes before and after we do an amazing work. Before we have come, they just have a chair and a drug cupboard. They the room is uh, very quiet and um, let's have a look after we come in. This room has with many equipment, much services. This is the delivery services in a factory. We also, we also invite pregnant employees to discuss about preparation for breastfeeding, like uh, an antenatal and postnatal class. We divide them into two groups, pregnant and uh, postnatal groups. In pregnant group, we discuss and sharing experience about birthing and how to prepare breastfeed. Most of them worry about birthing process and do not understand that breastfeed must be prepared since pregnancy period. In postnatal group, we support and train how to pump breast milk and do an oxytocin massage. These activities clearly show that we are providing continuity of care. We follow the woman across the interface of community service, particularly at workplace, with uh, never concerned before. And all in all, from this work, we have understood that with wife organization play a vital role in partnership with other sectors for supporting exclusive breastfeeding program and breastfeeding women and pregnant women demand to the delivery class in their workplace. And we were in to Sally Perman 2006 to say that working in partnership with women is also extremely rewarding empowering for midwives. And from this work, we know that this is true, and we have been practicing and finding the meaning. So this evident in this our in our experience has explored the importance of partnership with women and midwives, and has explained how midwives can work in partnership, not only with women for whom we provide midwifery care, but also with other agencies or organizations in community. We hope this uh, work inspire others, particularly with ways around the globe to promote breastfeeding exclusively. All oh, and thank you. Terima kasih. If you, if there are any questions, I would I would I would do this. Excellent, Istri. Thank you so much. That was really interesting. Tell me, Kasi, that was <laughs> typing in. <laughs> um, there were already some questions um, while you were um, presenting. So the first, I mean, a lot of people expressed that um, well done to the company that they did this. Um, and. Some people highlighted that what you are doing is actually the, this year's theme of the IDM, yeah? that you're working in partnership. And um, 
So somebody asked if midwives are there in the factory to promote breastfeeding. Is that your role? Um, that was a question. Can you maybe say something about that? Okay, thank you for the questions. Uh, uh, it does mean that our work to provide the midwifery care is uh, some like a continuity care. So we follow the woman uh, in the workplace that uh, never consumed before with other uh, department. Or health department or um, other health practices. So we uh, create uh, some activities. We struggling to find uh, an idea, and we found that uh, we have to meet women in a factory. Uh, we think that is it is also our role because midwifery practice is a continu uh, continuity. Of care, so uh, we emphasize that being with women is important. Uh, whenever, whatever uh, woman like, whatever she she, she like, or whatever she you know, we have to uh, give a necessary uh, care for for them uh, for women. Thank you. Excellent. And um, Monica is asking, who brings the baby to the mom? Um, is it the family? Yeah, um, usually a uh, woman um, left the baby and they uh, let, uh, give to her mother or grandmother. Uh, someone also left to their network. Yeah, like that. So it's very interesting to me uh, to ask that uh, how the baby can uh, get uh, the best nutrition. Besides, the woman is kind of, most of the women, particularly uh, employee woman, woman employee, they didn't know how to uh, saving the breast milk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, Sarah is asking, what barriers are there when you are working in um, with these women at in or within their working environment? Um, what are the barriers? Can you say something about it? Can you uh, paraphrase? And then? Um, um, Sarah is asking what the barriers are when you work with uh, women at their workplace. Is there? Do you experience any barriers, uh, or is it uh, no barriers at all? Uh, okay. Um, at the beginning, we uh, have uh, some problems because uh, to convince company uh, to uh, Introduce uh, for women employees is not easy to do, but we try again, again, and again, and um, eventually uh, we can uh, in invite them in the uh, lactation room, and we do a uh, basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ginger is asking what the improvement were over time. Could you see any improvement? Well, um, in this factory, uh, actually, we, we, we also evaluate that um, every month we look the list, attendant list, attendant list, and we, we know that uh, every month they are more and more a uh, woman come into this uh, lactation room to sharing, to uh, discuss about breastfeeding. Uh, we think it is a, a good progress that we have evaluated. And generally, for breastfeeding program in our regency, in Bangal Regency, uh, in two years, there is a significant increase in proportion of uh, breastfeeding uh, women. That in my first slide, I explained that it's just 52.3% uh, about proportion of 
breastfeeding uh, women to uh, give uh, breast food exclusively. But in two years, in 2016, and the data show that it increased to more than 75 percent. That is a very a great um, for us. Thank you. Okay. So more questions coming in. So um, Ginger is asking how many women um, uh, just pump or how many actually feed the child? Is that also a possibility in these lactation rooms? Yes, uh, it's not uh, too much. Um, we have about 10, 10 women uh, who come in this room in every, every, every Friday, every month. Uh, 10 women and more, um, including a pregnant woman, Breastfeed women. For breastfeed women, we meet uh, around five or six women. In. Thank you. And these women, um, they breastfeed or they pump? They pump. They first the baby. They pump. At the, at the, at they leave the baby at the home. So they uh, pump the breast milk and in the fridge. Yeah. Okay, um, so we have um, Anya who raised her hand. We will just quickly give her the microphone. Um, let's see if this is working. Then she can speak up if she likes. Um, wait a second, Anya. Maybe in the meantime, we can um, have another question. Um, if this is affecting the rage um, of the women, if they take time um, to feed or to pump in that case, no. does it affect the rage? No. No, no. 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 Okay. Yeah, we have a good process for, to the manager of the factory. So it is the policy that uh, we we surprised that uh, the manager have give a uh, time, allow a time, about one hour to breastfeed uh, and to meet the midwife at the factory. Excellent. So we had, um, um, Anya, you have the microphone. You can ask the question if you like. Uh, yes, hello. Sorry, it's, it was taking time for me to connect the microphone. It's a, it's a very, very interesting discussion going on just now about encouraging women to be able to breastfeed. Um, while they're at work, I can see from the discussion that they maybe are spending a lot more time pumping. And I would, I would like to ask Istri, hi, Istri, how are you? We did some work. Hi, hello, oh, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd be nice interested to, to know exactly how many women actually breastfeed in these lactation rooms with their baby, and how that works. Well, oh, yeah. Hello, thank you for for coming and hear my presentation. Um, as I say that there are about ten, uh, some ten, ten, and sometimes more women um, in the lactation room, and uh, but they, including pregnant women, so not of the of the breastfeed women. We have a uh, five, uh, yeah, five about five uh, breastfeed women that. Uh, um, yes, that's, that's Excuse me, Isri, can you repeat um, the last sentence? I didn't hear it. <laughs> okay. It is, uh, like I... Um, I cannot hear you at all. For the pregnant woman, we discuss about how to prepare and uh, do for breastfeed. And for the breastfeed woman, we um, trying to how to 
spam and how and we also uh, give a an occupation occupation Um, Anya, has um, your question been answered, or is there anything else you want to ask? Yeah, yes, um, uh, yeah, thank you. I'm just trying to get an understanding and the gist of of uh, how this lactation room is uh, is is going, and I I, I hope that um, that women are actually able to have their babies with them for that hour that they're allowed to breastfeed. I think it's a very very good initiative, and it's definitely a good beginning. Um, but I, I, I would hope that babies would actually get to be with their mothers for some time during the day. So that would be good. Thank you very much, Iskri, for a very, very interesting uh, talk. Excellent. Thank you, Anya. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, uh, just to repeat what Anya has said, because some people could not understand it. So Anya just emphasized um, that she would, um, she sees this is a great initiative and a really good start but that she also would like to see the children actually with the mothers breastfeeding. So, um, Istri, is there any, um, is there, is there any vision, um, of, of also having the baby stand in the lactation room? Is there, is there, an, is, is there any demand, um, by women? Or what do midwives think about it? Yeah, at the beginning it's midwife initiative, but, uh, by the time uh, women know that lactation room, the wife is about certain, so they um, come with, yeah, and that would be willing. So no, no, because uh, women fight, no, but they can, uh, they know, and they want to uh, meet the meet. So, um, Istri, Sheila um, is asking if there's a clear policy about how much time is permitted during the day um, for lactation, or is this a flexible um, approach? Yeah, in our country, um, we have a policy that some pregnant women who cannot work in, they have a demand for give a respect this video. But in a factory, for example, it is different for the policy in the factory, depend on the manager. So in this uh, factory that I told you, there is one hour every, every mm -hmm. woman. Okay, so one hour. Um, let me see. Um, let, um, let's have one more question and then we are finishing. So, um, the Ginger was asking, are the workers paid per hour or per output? Like the, the, the breastfeeding mothers or any mothers or any women, are they paid by, um, by, by the hour or by output? Yeah. At least, uh, for example, in the factory, I, I, I say in the factory, at least one hour is given to give a chance for mother or for woman, uh, for woman employee to save the breast milk. Um, and they can give the breast milk after they come home. At least it is um, some valuable for, for uh, women. Okay, um, we need to um, wind the session up. Um, so there are plenty of more ca um, questions coming in, Istri, and I think you've raised a really um, innovative um, idea you you had, and um, it's it's great. There was really a lot of positive responses um, to your initiative, but also to the company who supported that. And um, I think you clearly stressed um, the, this year's theme of the International Day of the Midwife, that um, 
midwives and women should be in partnership. And I think your example was an excellent showcase in that. And uh, I think um, the midwives are there where women are. I think that was um, another really good comment I've, I've read that actually we should not wait for women to come to us, but then go to women. And I think um, you inspired a lot of people uh, who might think now, where can I go to meet uh, women? So thank you so much, Istri. And uh, we are um, clearing up the chat and, and doing some housekeeping here. And uh, thank you so much um, for this excellent presentation. Thank you, Misa. And for everyone. Yeah, thank you, Misa, for uh, facilitating me in this presentation. And thank you for everyone. And again, uh, happy International Day of Mid Wave Week 2017. And we will uh, see you again in next year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So let's stop the recording.